I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Racism, defending yourself, and a Christian response. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Love our videos. Like our videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Get the app. Amazon. iTunes. Um, am, uh, Google. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift, Higher Things is a 501c3. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization, all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. And we need your help in these times. We need you. I was born and raised in the South. I'm from South Louisiana originally, Baton Rouge. Um, home of the Yellow Shoe Tigers. Um, and I've... I've I've spent my life seeing racism, being accused of it, and navigating through life. Uh, I was raised that everyone is equal and that no one should be judged by the color of their, of their, of their skin. I was also raised in the faith of Jesus, that Christ died for all. I've heard some pretty awful things, both outside and inside the church. Um, I, once, um, I once received the offering plates in, a, in, in uh, one of my former parishes when there was a uh, visiting black family and the, uh, the, the folks handed me the plates and said, uh, the ushers handed me the plates and said, uh, with my mic loud, you know, pastor, uh, the colored folks are actually Lutheran. I just looked at him and said, oh my goodness, please no. Um, I've seen racism in all its forms. From a, a friend of mine knocking on my door as, when I was an R8 at LSU and saying, I'm concerned about you. It troubles me that I never see you with black friends. And I looked at him and I said, but, but aren't we friends? Aren't, aren't we friends? It's just not, um, it's not been something that I've ever sort of pondered. Um, possible. I wasn't the way I was raised. And defending ourselves in this and getting defensive isn't helpful either. The majority of Christianity would confess their sin. Things that they've said, things that they've thought, and things that they've done in which they have hated. And that's what it is. Someone either by the color of their skin or because of the color of their skin, because of the way they look, by the way they talk, or been kind to someone because of the way they look, the way they talk. And the, and the answer in the Christian faith is not denial. The answer is confess where you've sinned, receive forgiveness. Defensiveness doesn't help, especially when someone's waiting for that argument. We were too, my family historically has been too poor to own slaves. I don't even know what white privilege is because I'm a poor white person. That doesn't help. What helps or what disarms, what I would like you to think about is that Christ died for all. That in Christ there's neither Jew nor Greek. That the mystery hidden from all all ages in Colossians and Ephesians is Christ for all. That this world of us versus them and we're in and they're not is not a world that God in Christ died to continue. That the truth of the gospel is not that I've never had a th racist thought in my life because that may or may not be true. 
The truth of the gospel is that God died for all. That Christ died and rose again for all. And I know this from experience. From either, because I'm a Southerner, people thinking that I would be a racist. I lost members in my Illinois congregation. They stopped going to church because they thought because I was from the South, I must be a racist. And I'm not always, I don't always say or think things in a way that's correct in our culture. So I hope you can forgive me for where I failed on this video. And I'm not going to say that my heart is in the right place. God's heart is in the right place. He doesn't distinguish between people. No, he dies for all. He saves all. He forgives all in Christ. Outside of Christ, you're on your own. See how that goes. But in Christ, in the forgiveness of sins, in the mercy of God, the mystery hidden from all ages is Christ in you. The hope of glory is that the Gentiles, you and me, whether from, whether from Scandinavia, Finland, Germany, Russia, Greece, Africa, India, Asia, Pontus, Phrygia, Mesopotamia, Rome, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And this flare-up, which isn't a flare-up, it's, 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 it's frustration and anger and, and, and no one's listening. Everybody saw George die. And everybody thought it was murder and awful. Universally. And the gift is that we get to talk about these issues. Again. Because we need to talk about these issues. But for us in the church, we confess that hating others for any reason is sin. Judging others based upon where they look or sound is sin. Slavery, sin. But with him there is forgiveness. In him there is forgiveness. So confessing our sins, we receive forgiveness. Don't be defensive. Talk instead about Jesus. And if that makes someone uncomfortable, I didn't really want to hear about Jesus. Well, that, that's my answer to racism. My answer for racism is Christ died for all. That's the way I want to see the world. I want to see the world the way God in Christ saw the world. And he has reconciled the world to himself in Jesus. That's the truth. That's the truth. And that's not my truth. I have my truth, you have yours. That is the truth. Christ on that cross reconciled the world, all the nations, to himself. I'm Pastor George Borkhart and a sleeping Thor. And this has been another Higher Things video short.